greetings. This is the Ghetto Free Press, and I'm George Boston Ryans, and I'm downtown Valdosta, Georgia, the location where Kendrick Johnson, mother, father, friends, neighbors, and others have been protesting for quite a while. They are seeking justice for their son. They believe that there was foul play in the death of their son, who was found dead at the Lowndes County Old Gymnasium on January 11, 2013. They are determined to press on. They're, they have no intentions of quitting until justice is rendered, until that which has been hidden seemingly and according to them is made open and available that everybody can see just what happened to their son and loved one. The reason I'm here today is to highlight the fact that what this sign right here says perhaps says it best. We are standing up so we can live our lives and our children can live without fear. The professors at Valdosta State University put together a video <clears throat> many years ago entitled A Chorus of Fear. And there is no question that there is a chorus of fear here in Valdosta, Lowndes County and throughout the Southern Judiciary. I re just received an email from the people in Lanier County concerning the election of Mr. Darcy and others. Now this election, they believe, was not handled properly. I also received an email about the problem in Lakeland. And they referenced, they referenced that they have contacted the Secretary of State, Brian P. Kemp's office, and they have talked to a one Chris Henry, Chris Henry, or Harvey rather, Chris Harvey is the chief investigator for the Secretary of State's office, and they want him to look into the election process in Lakeland, Georgia. I contend that there are major problems throughout South Georgia. Not only the death of Kendrick, but also the equipment 10 plus 2 in Quitman, Georgia. The fact that Valdosta and Lyons County are leading the state of Georgia with 31 jail deaths from 1994 to 2009. And from 2009 to 2013, we don't know how many people have died. And moreover, I had one white lady who is a journalist, asked the question, should not other bodies be exhumed? Listen, listen. Should not other bodies be exhumed here in Lowndes County to see and look at the uh, coroners and the autopsies that have been uh, uh, performed on these inmates in the Lowndes County Jail? And so now, as I said earlier, I am here because Lanier County, you read this in the paper, but you didn't read the email that I got from ordinary citizens in Lanier County questioning the election process. And if people were paid, listen, listen, if people were paid to vote in Lanier County elections, now, if they had problems in Brooks County, and if Glenn, an investigator from Macon, came to Brooks County on July the 17th, 2012, and found citizens that were outraged about the voting process, and if a public meeting at the Board of Elections in Brooks County was made known to the Secretary of State, Brian P. Kemp, yet Brian P. Kemp have not said one word, not even one word, to the black and white right voters in Quitman and Brooks County. So now, we can sit back and pretend 
that the news file has changed. But if the Secretary of State have not gotten back to the people and the voters in Brooks County, then what are they going to do in Lakeland, in Lanier County? What has the Secretary of State of Georgia done about the voting problems in Willacoochee, Georgia? I got it all on video. Your newspaper and television won't report it, but I got it out there because, as I said earlier, I put 21 years in the United States Armed Forces in foreign nations willing to fight and die for the rights of American citizens then to retire in Valdosta and Kendrick Johnson's family were not permitted to even view or ID their own child after he was found dead in the Lyles County gymnasium. So now, should everybody go to sleep at the wheel? Should everybody ignore that Valdosta and Lyles County are ignoring the 31 jail deaths in the Lyles County jail? What's wrong with our judges? What's wrong with our lawyers? What's wrong with our doctors? What's wrong with our preachers? What's wrong with our imams in this slum? What's wrong with the clergymen and rabbis under Judaism? And what's wrong with you? And so when I listen to people who are hitting my YouTube up from Canada, from Germany, they are asking a question. Ryan, what's going on down there? What's happening in the New South? I simply refer back to the video called The Chorus of Fear. People are living in fear here. Black people living in fear. White people living in fear. Professional people living in fear. Ordinary ghetto people are living in fear and won't nobody talk about it. Your news media will not report it. Can you imagine? A 14 year old Pine Grove Middle student taken down by a 300 pound sheriff deputy when she only weighed 98 pounds. Handcuffed, hands behind her back, face down on the floor, accused of striking an educator. Then the educators provided statements to the mother and father and to the court system. And do you know that they never dropped the charges and they still spending money to defend their daughter? Now where's the justice? There is no justice in Lowndes County for the black man and the poor white people. There is no justice. Sure they dress up in long black robes. They look like professionals. They smell like professionals. They sound like professionals but we never get the professional results and so our children end up on probation in jail in prison or on death row and so I'm going to say to you again Sunday the mother of this 14 year old daughter called me while I was sitting down having a cup of coffee getting ready to go to church she had 60 days. She had 60 days to sign up to get an appeal. But do you not know the 60 days in it, the last day of November? They told her. I walked to the courthouse with her. They told her that she had to get a lawyer just to get a copy of the transcript. So she got a lawyer to get a copy of the transcript. She still don't have a copy. She got another lawyer, and she still don't have a copy of the transcript. She believed that they don't want her to, re to appeal her case in another court other than the one with Judge Ellaby and Judge James Counsel. 
why I don't know but we have read it in the law that she have a right to an appeal in juvenile court if you are asking me Ryan why are you doing this I'm doing it because somebody got to do it all of us can't go to sleep at the wheel because too many of our children are suffering and dying. Oh yeah, we killing each other, but a lot of that is a result of they can't find a job. Nobody will employ them. Take a walk. Go to Office Max. Go to Miller Hardware. Go to some of these restaurants. You won't even see a black waitress nowhere. Condemn me. Call me a Hitler. Like you do the president. Call me a megalomaniac. Call me a liar. But I'm here to tell you, you cannot refute the truth that George Boston Rhymes have put on YouTube. You cannot call me a lie in truth. You just can't do it. Because Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. And it is this truth that got me on a 202 day criminal trespass warning that nobody in Valdosta, Lowndes County, the state of Georgia, or in the United States of America will take knowledge of. Nobody have acknowledged that they put me under this restriction. John Robinson said, because after the death of KJ, y'all thought, some of you thought, that if those children come and talk to George Boston Rhymes, that I would report it. And they are right, I will report it. Because Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall make you free. Lies have never made anybody free. Only the truth gonna set us free. In closing, I thank God for the parents and supporters of this 17-year-old student at Lyons County High School. Regardless of what you say about this Kendrick Johnson movement, if they hadn't said nothing, there wouldn't have been nothing. There would never have been an Al Sharpton. There would have never been a Victor Blackwell. There would have never been a Shaveen King. There have never been. The information that we know now, this family thought that they had buried their son, but because they stood up, and asked questions, they found out that a part of his body was not even buried. Yet, you say around the world that America is a free and democratic society. From what many of us see today, let me tell you what we see. We see the emergence 